<laughs> if the UK fans ain't gonna support Smith, man, they deserve to get their shit pushed in, mate. <laughs> they deserve to get their shit pushed in, mate. Real talk, son. Like, because at the end of the day, man, you got Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Luke Campbell. We got, we got these fighters. They moving and shaking, taking over boxing. And Smith is just another prime example of what the UK... Fighters are bringing to the table. The fans got to get on top of this thing, man, because the fans fuel the fighter. Listen, man, this guy is a good, skilled, talented boxer, long jab, tall, rangy, off the back foot hooks, off the back foot hooks, combinations. This kid is great. Now, we're dealing with, we're dealing with Canelo Alvarez. I get it. It's difficult. You dig? Like, it's difficult. I get it. Canelo has changed the game also for Mexican fighters. Now you're starting to see Mexican fighters fight off the back foot. Use the jab. Be more scientific in there. Be more educated in there, right? Because of Canelo. Canelo proved that Mexican fighters are not just brawlers. Just not guys who coming forward and swinging their fists away. They're guys who are showing that, hey, I got the chin, right? I got the ability to exchange. I can't let my hands go in combinations, but I need the other fundamentals that Canelo has shown that works and be elite. You see me? So Canelo, I've never seen a Mexican fight the way he fight. Slipping, dipping, right? Making you miss, making you pay. The Kai, man, is something different, man. He's going down in the Hall of Fame as the best Mexican fighter ever moving up from 147 154 160 180 160 yeah. this dude is crazy with it man I, you can't call, you can't compare floyd mayweather record with his you can't compare De La Hoya record with his because this guy consistently moved up taking belts taking names putting hands and feet different man but what i'm telling you was this and I would never bet against Canelo. I bet against him against Triple G in the first fight. It came to a draw. Your boy lost money. My point is, Triple G was a formidable puncher. And I'm thinking the punching and the aggression. But Canelo said, CBT, you forgot I got a back foot. <laughs> you forgot I got a back foot. He said, big, 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 you dig? And he kept moving. He said, I got stamina too. That computer rolls all up in me, baby. So I'm like, good guard. You dig? But Smith. It's not just a big, long lug of a fighter. He's a fighter with skills and technique. Guys, this guy got an uppercut off the back foot. He can shoot a jab and lay you down. He got power in both hands. He's not a guy that's going to throw the lazy jab out there, let Canelo come underneath, hit him to the body. That's what everybody's expecting. So I'm pretty sure the best, the great UK trainers are saying, the body, the body. Look how short he is. He's going for the body. We got the... Negate that, right? And then I looked at a fight. And I said, "Let me check some fights out, man, because this is good. This is this is this is <laughs> this is gonna be something, you dig?" And then I'm watching him and Smith, like on the back foot. I seen him show, shoot a jab, shoot a, 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 a hook off the back foot, shoot an uppercut off the back foot, and then he looked comfortable. Great. I'm like, how can I go and get down there without eating something? You dig? And he gonna eat it all night. I always say, man, put a little dude in the ring with me, man. On the street with me, anywhere, man. You can't touch me, dog. I don't care if you stocky and bow legged, looking like Rocky. I'm telling you that I'm going to keep a jab in your face all night. Only way you can win is if I fight your fight. And I'm telling you that he cannot fight Canelo fight. Only time he fights Canelo fight is Canelo get close and because he can run combinations. You grab. You're a bigger man. <laughs> What's good with you? What's popping? What's shaking? Looking at you, nigga. Give him a kiss a little bit. This is from the, this is from the UK. It's a UK kiss, my nigga. You dig? So if we do all that, I think Smith got a chance to win this fight. I'm picking Smith by 12-round decision. People, if we're going to bet on this fight and pick Smith, he's the major underdog in this fight. We're going to win money on a 12-round decision. But if you're going to be a little scared, this is a high-risk fight. Talking Canelo here. You have to be willing and able to lose. But you don't have to because I always give you the option to do what? <laughs> you already know. Hedge the bet. So we hedge the bet. Canelo by knockout. I think Canelo only chance to win this fight is by knockout. I don't think they're going to rob Smith on the cards. Because it's going to be clear that Smith wins each round. Canelo got to reach. He got to 
dart in. He got a lunge. He got to get close. And doing so, Smith going to touch him. <laughs> you from the UK, nigga. I'm from the UK, nigga. You see that way? Smith going to win this fight, people. It's early. We got 24 hours. Put your money on the wood. You dig? Put it on the wood. Rock with your boy. Dollar sign in the comment section. Cash out if you like what I'm doing. You dig? And then we could put some money up. And then we could look at it on Saturday night and say, yo, CBT, you the man, son. Okay? You, the way Bully Spence beat uh, Danny Garcia. You was hyped up. You was amped up the same way you amped up now. Listen, man, you lose and you win. You see the stack right here? It's still going to stay here. Every time you see a video when I'm live, the stack going to ever be there. It ain't never going nowhere. Because the money is on the wood. You dig? That's what it is. Point blank period. Now, when that money ain't there, that means something is wrong. <laughs> something is wrong. <laughs> you dig? But you dig? My point is, please rock with me. Please subscribe to me. Please hit the like button because you're rocking with the best, man. Period. Point blank period. Now, I understand that Canelo can do what to win this fight? What? On the back foot? Countering the long jab? Possibility. Uh, turning, using angles to get inside to go to the body? possibility for me if i can't give that valid reasons why canelo can win or any opponent can win i fall back man i can't i'm not going to be talking to be talking but i will say this i gotta get this fixed man this lock is this this lock is this weak as fuck listen if canelo's gonna win this fight this fight got to look totally the opposite we talking about a guy like Canelo that got to walk inside. He got to walk inside. <laughs> he got to walk in there. And he got to be able to slip, punch. You understand me? Dip over, punch. You smell me? And he got to be, and then slip off to the side. Slip again. Bing, bing. He got to make Smith look like an amateur. He got to make Smith look like the way Bully Spence did against Porter. He got to make the way Bully Spence look like he did against Sean Porter and Danny Garcia at the same time. Terrible. That's how he got to make it look. If Danilo's going to win this fight, it's going to be a complete mismatch. Everything I said about Smith got to go like this. Smith going to win around. You did? And I don't see that happening. Point blank, period. Good God. Your boy voice. You smell me? We could wash it down with some peachy. <laughs> you dig? Listen, that's how I see the thing going down, man. But see, Canelo got to be a beast. This could probably be or possibly be Canelo's best performance ever because he's going to need that to win this fight, period. And I'm thinking, guys, that if we put a little money up, you smell me? Put 100, nigga, get 400. Put 200, nigga, you know the deal. You smell what I'm talking about? I'm telling you to put money on the wood so you can walk home with the suitcase. You need some money in your pocket for Christmas, nigga. You can get it tonight. You see me? And if you want to rock with your boy CBT, you think I'm not the prediction king? You need some presents for your child, for your baby mama, for your mama. Put your money on the board, and then if you win, you can put the gift, wrap it up, and put CBT bought this. <laughs> CBT bought this. That's what you can do. Because I know in your heart, when you look at Smith, and after you watch this video, you do a little film work and look at a little bit of video, you're going to say, damn. CBT on or something. Let me go online. Let me put in a little hundred dollars. Man, I got a hundred. It's nothing. If I walk home with this thing, CBT put me together. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm telling you, I wouldn't better against Canelo, man. He's different, man. He a different character, man. It's like betting against Anthony Joshua. Different. You don't do it. You got to have a, a collox. You got to have a, a calamity. Some type of nothing big happen. The big bang. Like... Like that punch that came from God, from your boy Andy Ruiz. See, Andy Ruiz, that was a punch from God. God said the Mexican needs some money. Whoosh, gave him some lightning. Whoosh, put it in the fish. Whoosh. God do that to the people who need support the whole Mexican. That's what he do for the whole world. You see me? So at the end of the day, you're rocking with your boy CBT. Man, I got to go, but I'm going to tell you this. Fight night. Well, after this video, I'm going to look in the comment section. Check you guys out. Put a dollar sign. I hit you up. We do the thing. Put our money on the wood. But at the end of the day... Give me your thoughts as well. Give me your predictions. Give me your thoughts on how the fight will play out. Most importantly, I will see you Saturday night, and we're going to go live on this fight. You dig? And we're going to rock out, and we're going to call it round by round. Man, you're rocking with the best, man. Holla at me. Peace. He blasts your boy, barbershop, cocksucker conversations, right? So what I'm trying to tell you is, man, I want to touch the weight, bully. I want to touch the weight, bully.
<laughs> See, you got the boxing conversation sucking niggas off at the fights, man. Sucking off grown and sucking off the child over things like that, man. You want that type of interview? What you want with CBT bring to the table, man? CBT ask you tough questions, yeah. CBT asks if you testing, huh? CBT asks when next time you Wait, testing, huh? Wait, bully Smith. So I gotta ask when when the last time you test for the WBC? When the last time you tested for any type of test? Test you take gonna have to be when you go up against a real fighter, huh? When you go up against an eight level opponent, huh? When a guy like got a jab and that guy like can move his feet, fucking ram throw that lazy ass jab and get put to sleep. He can put in the ring with CBT and watch me work and shit. Watch me put hands in free. I'ma do it, man. What I'ma do?